If you've watched my videos, you know that I'm a fan of the unique, the rare, and the unusual. And this Mustang certainly qualifies for all three. To start with, it's a 1967 Mustang Fastback GTA in Brittany Blue. It's just a stunning color. You rarely ever see the Fastback GT in Brittany Blue. And this has the two-tone blue interior coordinating the color combination. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, this car, even in a crowd of Mustangs, in an all-Mustang show, it'll stand out. It'll garner far more than its fair share of attention. Now, another thing that's unique about this car, documented right here on the Marty Report, is it was special ordered as a dealer demonstrator. It spent the first 12 months of its life promoting the all-new 1967 Mustang. And that's really cool. I would have picked it too. I mean, it makes you want a 67 Mustang. And I can imagine that's exactly what it did in 1967 as well. Another thing documented right here in the Marty Report and one of the two build sheets is the fact that it's a C-Code GT. That's unique in 67. No other year had a C-Code GT. That's pretty cool. So 67 had another unusual thing too about it. And this car, is that thing. It's a GTA. In no other year is a GT with an automatic transmission called a GTA. In 67, the marketing department thought that would be cool for some reason, and so they designated the GT with an automatic transmission as a GTA. Every other year, a GT is a GT, and of course, this is a GT as well. So now the GTs are by far the best of the vintage Mustangs. They not only have great styling cues that make them look super cool, they also have performance enhancements that make them a better performing car than just a stock Mustang. So the GTs are where it's at. All right, now we're gonna open the hood, look at the engine, we're gonna start the engine, listen to it, listen to the exhaust, and then we're gonna go on a test drive. Well, here's the engine bay. Very original presentation, and you can see some nice options, power steering, power disc brakes, and of course the world famous 289 motor. I'm gonna start it up. Should be able to just reach right in here and turn the key, and we'll listen to it. There you go, no problem. Come on back and listen to the exhaust. Notice the tips, these are the factory 67 GT roll tips, very cool. And also notice what is called the standard GT gas cap. I actually like it quite a bit versus the deluxe GT gas cap right here. There's a difference in the two. Okay, let's go on the test drive. You know, going down the road, this car is just rolling art. I mean, it really is. Thumbs up, honks, waves, people just stop in their tracks to watch it go by. I mean, I completely get it. I, I think it's stunning as well. And, and on the inside, on the inside, you're looking at really cool instrumentation, beautiful brushed aluminum treatment uh, throughout, and these nice hues of blue, these soothing blues that are in here just makes you happy to sit in the car. A lot of fun. 
you know, driving a 50-year-old Mustang, well, it's, it is what it is. It can't be more than it is. It's a 50-year-old Mustang. You know, back in the day, they were super impressive, and it was the ultimate driver, and everybody wanted one. Today, some 50 years later, it's the ultimate collector car. Everybody wants one. I mean, worldwide demand, especially for one like this, these options and uh, these colors. It's just, it's the type car that uh, collectors want, and it's really more of an investment platform than it is a driver. Okay, so we're on our test drive. We'll be to the highway just here in a second, and we'll go highway speeds, and uh, no problem for these little 289s. They, they like to run. They're happy little motors. You know, this car, although primitive by today's standards, they're nice drivers. I, I enjoy driving them. People love driving them. They're just such a usable vehicle. You can get in them and go, and they don't mind. Okay, so here we go. Highway speed, no problem. They just accelerate really, really nice. They're light, nimble little cars. And you know, I mentioned earlier, this is a C-Code, which is a two-barrel 289, but really can't tell much difference. I mean, when you yomp on it, this little guy will go. It pulls. I mean, it, it pulls plenty good. It's a... Uh, it's really Ford's Hall of Fame classic car. They, they have a following worldwide, and there's a reason for that. They're fun to drive little cars, and they're just great investments. Well, take time to look at the pictures of the interior of this car. It really is a Beautiful presentation with the brushed aluminum and the beautiful blue hues throughout and the, the beautiful Brittany blue exterior. It's really something to behold too. Ford really made a beauty when they put together a Brittany blue with a blue complimentary interior. And that's what this is. Well, that's it for the test drive. I really hope you enjoyed it. Click like if you enjoyed it. And also be sure and subscribe to our site, my son and I really find some of the really cool cars, cars worth owning, the rare and unusual ones. Come back often and see if we find something that makes you happy. Okay, adios. <laughs>